What's going on, Legion? As you're here, like always. And we got Supergirl, Legion of Superheroes, Monel. They've changed the story up so much, it's fucking retarded now. Um, it's all different. I, I don't. What the hell is the Fortress of Not Solitude? Oh, this is Rain's place, I forgot. Uh, the Legion of Superheroes has its own storyline. They've kind of taken some liberties from what I remember of how it got started. Um, but that's just, you know, it's always weird when they take a character that is the second banana, <laughs> the second string, whatever. It's Superman. It's all about him. But when they make a TV show about Kara, Supergirl, his cousin, not as popular or whatever, they take kind of his stuff uh, or the main character stuff and then they kind of adopt it for the second stringer. So in this... Instead of Superman going into the future when he was really young because he was the inspiration for the Legion of Superheroes in the first place, now it's kind of like Supergirl uh, is involved in like creating it, it looks like, or being a part of it somehow. They're bringing her, like, and then they changed it in Justice League Unlimited where she ended up staying in the future with um, um, Brainiac 6. Some of my nose. And... I don't know. So I don't know if she's going to help create it. Uh, or no, yeah, that's that's what I meant. She didn't create But her relationship with Monel and him going to the future and him creating the Legion based off of what Supergirl showed him how to be the, the hero, she kind of created. It's very weird. And it's kind of like you're just kind of rewriting an already storyline, changing it up and giving it to the other character. Let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. You have done well, my child. You easily vanquished the daughter of the House of El. Rain. You left your mark on this city, but there is much yet to be accomplished. It's time to deliver the awakening. She looks badass. She's trapped inside Mind Prison. She is very angry. Rain is still out there. People are dying. I have to wake up. You were warned. We have to stop her. I don't like our odds without Supergirl by our side. We have a literal legion Brainiac. of superheroes. <laughs> I think we've got her attention. Why isn't she waking up? The only thing keeping you here is you. I'm not afraid. When will she wake up? Supergirl returns with an all new episode Monday, January 15th on The CW. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our. Um, fifteenth, huh? It's this Monday. Wow. All right. I'm damn. I just did the the Flash, and I was so stoked for Flash, but seeing this, I hate that this show's on the CW because it's just cheesy. Not the writing, not the acting, but but like. That's like the worst effing Brainiac, man. He looks so tacky. Like, we just went to, like, the Chuckle Hut Halloween edition, you know, in October, and that was the last costume. You know, the, the hair, everything about it. Just sometimes these shit, a lot of the times Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, they're all hitting it dead on. But sometimes they get characters, and the costume design, because it's a weekly show, is sometimes subpar. Um... Like when the girl that played Supergirl from Smallville came back as Brainiac in this Supergirl. Did you follow that? Please let me know if you followed that. Just give me a high five. H-Y number five. Right down below. Right in the comments. Just, just to let me know you, you followed that whole train of thought. And she was just a very weird blue. It was very caked on looking. And... Because it's you can't put that much money in a weekly show for a costume for one character, so you gotta kind of like grit and bear it. Like that Brainy look looked like an idiot. Uh, I'm I'm actually excited to see what Monel's wife is, like what her power is. She's not like what is it Phantom Girl? I, maybe she's Phantom Girl, um, or what was the other one? Saturn Girl? Was that what it was? Maybe she's Saturn Girl. Who knows? Monel? Who the? F he's like he's like the downgraded superman of that he's not lightning lad and he sure is fucking bouncing boy so who the fuck is he he's monel the the shit guy that's kind of fast and kind of strong 
but can't really fly, and he's not the best in either of those. So who the hell is he? I'm curious. This lightning lad would be badass if somehow he to cope for him to survive on Earth with the with the even though it was like a thousand years or whatever it was or hundreds of years where he couldn't it, with the Earth atmosphere needed to be changed, um, and he went back to the or he went to the future, and then he did all that and. Now he's immune, I'm thinking. That's why he come back to normal Earth or present Earth, and he's fine. But wouldn't it be badass if to somehow cope with that iron in the air, he like went through a transformation that made him a lightning lad? That would be really sick. I'd be down for that. I wouldn't care. It's better than the stupid farm boy story. It's literally like a lightning Clark Kent from Space Farm. Who gives a fuck? I don't know, I'm rambling. There's just too much. There's too much information. There's too much story. There's too much stuff that's changed to get into one video. And I do not have the editing skills to make a comprehensive video about me disliking things. To put graphics everywhere. So I just don't do that. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you can always like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate that. It does help me out in some way or another. And if you want to leave a comment discussing anything we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically, you can leave a comment down below. Love to see and love to hear all the comments. Once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you in whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.